I finally got a chair of Moya, and uh, I'm excited to try this. It's kind of been hyped up to me. It's from Ecuador and Peru. I'm just reading off of Wikipedia right now. It, it, I, it seems like it's pretty rare, like I've never seen this in a store in my life, but uh, it's grown like all over the place. You grow it in Central America, South America, Southern California. You, you can even grow these in California. So they're not that rare. People do grow them. But what's interesting to me, Mark Twain called the cherimoya the most delicious fruit known to men. So here we go. I'm gonna cut this open. I'm probably gonna do it wrong. No idea how I'm supposed to open this, but I don't know. It's uh, apparently the seeds are super poisonous. Like you don't want to eat the seeds. Um, yeah, you really don't want to eat the seeds of this. Let's see what it tastes like. Okay, it's very sweet. It's very sweet. It's almost like a pear or something. Not what I expected. I mean, mm, I'm just paranoid about the seeds. Like, I don't want to eat them. I'm not sure what I think about this thing. Like, it's, it's definitely kind of seedy. I, it's kind of like a pear. This might not be completely ripe. I just kind of got impatient and wanted to eat it. It's it's definitely so it's definitely very sweet. It tastes pretty good. I'm not blown away by the flavor of this. Maybe I didn't get a really good one, but I I don't know why Mark Twain said this is the most delicious fruit known to man. Because I think that the mango, I think like a yellow mango is better than this, but. Oh, it's a very different kind of fruit. Very different. I guess you're supposed to just like open it up and just tear it apart and eat it. It almost tastes like something I know, but I like can't really can't really uh, place it. It's uh, it's, it's like its own thing. I, I I just can't I can't really place it. So yeah, my overall thoughts on the cherimoya are. It's its own thing. I, I, I was struggling the whole time I was eating it, trying to figure out what I could compare it to, like almost like a pear or something, but it's not really like a pear at all. I can't, I can't uh, compare it to anything I've ever eaten. Uh, the, the eating experience, it was a little difficult. I just tore the, I just cut it in half, tore it open, and I was trying to pick out seeds, and there's a lot of seeds in it, and you don't want to eat the seeds. I think they're poisonous. But um, yeah, that's, that's kind of my take on the cherimoya is I, I really like it. It's really sweet and it's its own flavor. Apparently it's in the same family as the soursop and the sugar apple. And I saw here the sugar apple, people love it, but you can't really find it in the US. But uh, yeah, I might've, I think the cherimoya I had might've not been completely ripe but uh it was a good fruit um i have two more i'm gonna let them ripen out a little bit more before i eat them but uh it's a fruit i enjoy it's a it's a fruit i will totally buy again if it's available i like it all right that's that's my that's my take on the cherimoya i, had to, I forgot the name for a second